Hi, welcome again uh, to the continuing on shape tutorials. This this is just going to be a quick one. Um, so now we've made our parts, we're going to look at exporting it. So this is just a a quick video just to see how we export things and and the ways in which in which we can export it. So this, if we look at the parts we have here, we've we've got the main uh, the main body of our center finder, which is which is a pretty flat item. So so normally we would just uh, we could laser cut that, or we could plasma cut it, or or even put it on a CNC machine and just give it a two D profile cut. So in this case, we we would export it as a uh, as a flat file. So we would normally export it as a DXF file, so draw and exchange file. Okay, so um, in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn the pin off for the moment, just so we can just look at the look at the body. Um, it is handy to rename your part sometime. I would always recommend you to do that, just just to um, well, partly to see what thing is what, but also you'll see in a moment when when we export it. Okay, so if we're just going to export this this face at the moment, we're just going to go on until we highlight the face, then we're going to right click and, uh, oh it's right in front of us there, we're going to export as DXF stroke DWG and in this case we, we don't want it as a DWG, we want it as a, as a DXF file so it's, it's as simple as that, we click export and uh, I just want to save the file again I'm still using Firefox, I haven't got rid of installing Chrome again alright, and it's it's up here as, as, our, as our download now okay so um, if you want to open, then put it somewhere as you can see um, it's come up as the as the face of this uh, as the face of this file just in here okay so that's if we wanted just a flat face for that thing if we wanted it as a three-dimensional object uh, so let's turn that off uh, turn the pin on because this is a very much a 3d object we wouldn't we wouldn't do this as a, as a 2d item so we want to take this out uh, normally as, as an STL file. So if we're going to 3D print this, um, something like that, and again we can just right click. In this case, we're going to, because we've selected the whole part, we're going to export this. Now we have a lot more options here, okay? So in this case, we're going to, we're going to go as an STL file. Um, but we also have the option, if we're going to export this into, into another CAD system, we might want to put it in, so we can put it in as a native SolidWorks file or Rhino, we have a few options here, but we can also go um, to a general file type which is like a Parasolid or a step file, IGES, something like that, and that would allow us to export into into other other CAD systems. Okay? But this, in this case we just want a, um, an STL file which is a, a straightforward um, 3D kind of file. Make sure your units are in millimeters Generally, I would go fine, especially if we're going to 3D print something. Okay, um, and and then we're going to download. If you want to store a file in a new tab, I'm not going to do this because I end up with loads and loads of tabs in here. So I'm just going to I'm just going to download this. And again, it it defaults to um, it defaults to what I've uh, what I've called it here. Okay, Center Finder Parts Pin. Okay, and again, just click just click download. Um, we're going to save that file. And if we go to our download, now you can see we've got pin uh, pin as an as an STL file. Okay, so in this case is where we would put it straight into a CAM program, um, and we could we, we would say we might CNC machine it, we might three D print it, um, but it's going to come out as a, as a three dimensional part, so it would have all these have all these features on it. Okay, now the thing when with a body. What would happen? We wouldn't have certain details, such as this fillet here, okay, or the, or this countersink in here. It will only go from the face, okay. And so, if we also if we selected this face, okay, we'd get a different part to if we exported that face. Okay, because so ideally you would take the full face, and then once this part has been cut out, we could put the um, we could put the fillets and the countersinks on. Okay, so just just have a, have a go. 
um, exporting those files and just creating a file type because ultimately we're going to put it into another program onto another machine okay so we want to take these files and then we're going to go and do do something interesting with them okay